In this video, we will install Olama directly on Windows and run it natively in the command prompt. Olama was so far only available on Mac and Linux, and we had to use VSL2 and Ubuntu to use it on Windows. In one of our last videos, we explained installing VSL2 and Olama on Windows in details. Now Olama for Windows is in the preview mode. You can navigate to olama.com and download the installer for the Windows version. The installation is straightforward. After the installation is completed, the Olama icon appears in the taskbar, and you can either quit the application or open the location of the log files. There you can check some logs for debugging. On olama.com you can navigate to the models and browse the featured LLMs or the most popular LLMs or the newest one. When you select an LLM, you can get more information about it and how to run it. Some like Gemma have different tags and usages. We can copy how to run Olama with the selected model and go back to our command prompt and paste it over there and hit enter. If it's the first time Olama runs this LLM, it will first download the model. Depending on the size of the model, it will take some time to download the required file. When the download process is completed, we can enter our prompt or option. We can use slash question mark to get some help and slash verbose to get more information after execution of a prompt. Now we can enter our prompt like, what is LLM in simple words? The answer comes from our downloaded local open source LLM Gemma. As we have used the verbose option, after we got our answer, we get additional information about the duration of the execution and the amount of tokens used. When we are finished, we can quit Olama by typing slash buy. We can use Olama easily in our Python scripts too. In the block section under OpenAI Compatibility, you can find a sample script as a starting point. In Visual Studio Code, make sure you have created a virtual environment and installed OpenAI and Olama using pip. Then paste the script and adjust it to your needs. Don't forget to use the name of your downloaded LLM, in our case Gemma. When you run the script, you get the result from the downloaded free local private open source LLM. Good luck using Olama directly on Windows.